Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another my restaurant video so for the last 24 hours a lot of you have been reaching out to me in the discord on twitter and especially in the comment section asking me to go ahead and upload an updated layout that is using the soda machine as well as the salad bar now for those of you that aren't aware in my discord i have a section where we post nothing but layouts that are submitted through the community all of these layouts are sent to my moderators and they take the initiative of moving them over to this specific channel so that way i can go ahead and scan through each one of these layouts and choose which is the most efficient one now it's probably not going to be a big surprise on who exactly created the layout for today because he is a very well-known name throughout the community and that is sidewinder so many of you guys have reached out to me telling me that this layout is incredible and honestly i don't really go by that i kind of go by the numbers that i get when i am testing but at the same time i've never been contacted by so many people telling me that this layout is far more superior than all of the ones that everybody else is putting out now i want to make it very clear i only test out the layouts that are submitted to my moderators that are posted in this channel or the layouts that are dm to me over on discord so if you do happen to have a layout that you believe is better performing than this one feel free to join the discord and get in contact with me i will most definitely test it and if it is indeed worthy then i will go ahead and upload a video about it now a little bit of information on what exactly to expect with this layout today it is a 10 floor layout unfortunately this is not on the affordable side you are going to need a couple of items that are pretty expensive i mean if you really don't have that much money to build this you will need obviously some filler items gaming chairs gaming table soda machines salad bars silverware trays and then all of the other obvious essentials like tiki tables booths royal tables royal chairs stoves order stands dishwasher all of the basic stuff that you need with every single build and now before we continue and we actually jump into the building because i don't really want to waste any more time i do have to go ahead and say the disclaimer that i say every Every single time before we get started with these builds these can be built with whatever furniture you have whether you have royal or you don't have royal you can build this layout so many of you still get in contact with me asking me to build one without royals simple answer is you can make any of these layouts with royals and the final thing that i want to mention do not pay attention to the roses that are around my restaurant if you do not have the bigger restaurant game pass the reason that I have the roses going all the way around my restaurant is because I need to make it a 14 by 14 in order to create the layout that all of you can go ahead and use without the game pass. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, we're going to be doing things a little bit different this time around. I have noticed that the previous layout videos are kind of meh considering I have to sit there and, you know, explain every single piece that I go and place down and stuff like that. So we're going to do the same thing that we did last time on the top right hand side. I will have the layout template visible for you guys the entire time but instead of sitting here and explaining every single piece of furniture that i placed down we're just going to go ahead and fast forward through this but i will make sure not to make it too fast so you guys can go ahead and follow along with me if for some reason you prefer to see it in real time feel free to go into the settings in the bottom and change the speed of the video but i figured that this would get things moving a lot quicker and it would definitely make my life a lot easier when it comes to editing this now if you notice on the floor here we have our color coordinated squares that i use I tried my very best to go ahead and compare these with the ones that Sidewinder used in his template that you're going to see on the right hand side. But before we go ahead and start the fast forward, I'm going to run you by the first floor really quickly. Pink one is filler items. These black obsidian tiles, which are located right here, these two rows, and then these two rows down here by the front door. These are going to be the silverware trays. The orange blocks that are in this section right here, this is going to be the soda machines. Red squares are going to be the gaming chairs yellow squares the gaming desk the center being the white blocks are going to be completely empty no filler items nothing just completely empty and then if you haven't caught on already the brown ones that are on these sections right here are going to be the salad bars with that being said let's go ahead and start the first fast forwarding Bye. 
All right, so just like that, we've gone ahead now and completed floor number one. A couple of things that I do want to go ahead and point out before we move on to the next floors. Remember, like I said before, the white squares, which was in the center right here, are going to be completely empty. And if you notice over here in the filler section, there is actually one random white square, which needs to also be there. And then obviously the little path on this side that's going to lead to the exit. These are extremely important. You want to make sure that you do use these specific spots because if not, then the layout will not be working at its full potential but anyways this is exactly how this corner down here is going to look first floor is extremely simple it's not complicated at all let's go ahead now and move on to floor number two now up here is going to be the same exact concept pink ones are going to be the filler items which if you notice it goes all the way up to here and then it travels all the way to the back of the room so where i basically have all of these gem cases you want to make sure that you have filler items back here as well the obsidian tiles will be the silverware trays there's three rows of them down here and then one singular one in this location. The brown ones will still be the salad bars. White ones will be empty spaces. Orange, the soda machine. And then for the red and yellow, that's going to be the chairs and the tables. So red one being chairs, yellow being tables. Here, you will not be using gamer chairs and gamer tables. Instead, you will be using either your tiki and your booths or royal chairs and royal tables, which is what I will be using. But again, it really all comes down to whatever you can afford. This will affect how much you make hourly, which is exactly why I do not share in any of these videos how much these layouts make hourly because it's going to be completely different for everyone. I know some of you already know this, but I just have to keep pointing it out because there is constantly new players that are joining the game. But anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead now and fast forward through this floor. All right, so just like that, we've now gone ahead and finished floor number two. Keep in mind, you want to build this exact setup that you just built on floor number two for every single floor until floor number nine. It's also really important that you remember over here in between this soda machine and this salad bar, you do have to leave one empty square. And then obviously the ones that are a little bit lower down here, which is two empty squares. But yeah, that's pretty much floor number two. Let's go ahead now and move on to the final one, which is floor number 10. At this point, I'm going to assume that you guys already kind of get the understanding of this floor number 10 is going to be your kitchen so for that reason the colors kind of represent different things here the pink tiles are still the filler items the blue ones are going to be the stoves the center white one obviously an empty square the brown one that is located right here this is going to be your order stand and then the green tiles will all be your dishwashers very important if you notice right under here where the teleporter is I do not have a block there there actually should be a white block there because that is also going to be an empty spot it's definitely not required for you to go ahead and add more filler items around the room like i did you only need to fill in the pink squares if for some reason you feel like filling up the entire room then by all means go for it so now let's go ahead and get started building this floor And just like that, you've now gone ahead and completed the final floor for this layout. It's really important that when you are setting up these stoves, you face them all towards the white square that's in the middle. The reason that I say this is because I know so many of you are going to run into the problem where you can't actually place them down because of the fact that you do need an empty block in front of the stove in order to place a stove extremely close to another one. So again, maybe for this part, go ahead and slow down the fast forward a little bit and kind of follow along with how I rotated them because that's definitely going to help you out a lot. But anyway, 
anyways, we are now back at the first floor. I'm going to go ahead and open up the restaurant just so you guys can see it in motion. Again, I really enjoy this layout for a couple of different reasons. Obviously, I'm still going to be getting all my VIP customers because I have royal tables and chairs up on the top floors, but it's definitely really good to see that I'm also going to be getting regular customers as well as obviously YouTuber customers because of the gamer set layout that I have here in the corner. Huge shout out to Sidewinder. This is probably one of my favorite ones that he's probably put out. As always, if you guys run into any problems, not only is Sidewinder in my Discord, but a lot of other people are in the My Restaurant section on my Discord. Feel free to go ahead and join. We have plenty of people in there that are willing to help you guys out. One of my head moderators being Flux Sniper, he is constantly in the My Restaurant chat and he's actually messing around with some of the layouts, even Sidewinder's layout. So I'm sure that he'd be more than willing to help a lot of you out as well. But anyways, man, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different than how we usually do these layout videos. If you did enjoy it like this more, please let me know in the comments. If you want to see me go back to doing it how I have been doing all of my other layout videos, then feel free to also let me know. But anyways, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like always, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any of my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.